Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Mr. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 5, Episode 13 of The Flash called Gold Faced. So to start off with, Wells is trying to crack Nora's code, but Nora's overhearing it and she goes to the future to tell Vaughn. He's not really worried about it and tells her to nudge him into the wrong direction, which means, in his case, love. And then we have Wes Allen um, moment where they're trying to figure out her new office and everything, but she's reading this review online that, um, that says she was boring and too safe. <laughs> and so she wants to work on uh, write about Cicada and Barry says to go for it. And then Caitlin has pretty much got a cure. They're just wrapping up the final touches on it. But the cure won't be instant. It takes about a minute for it to kick in. So they want to use a bio EMP, but, in order, but the one that they need was stolen. So Ralph can find it. So they see his old dirtbag friend Earl, who tells them uh, about Goldface. And so they're going to go to that location to get the stuff. Then Nora talks to Wells, uh, takes Wells to Jitters, and basically sets him up. Thanks to Dawn's thinking of a bunch of like series of like tiny essences that led him to this woman. And I already forgot the name, so sorry. <laughs> uh, and it works and set him up, but Wells got a little too stalkery, so she just kind of got freaked out and left. And we got to where Nora tries to help them get her back, and then we have Ralph and Barry at the location and they get surrounded but it's fine and Barry is very dis disgusted by everything in that place especially this one uh, weapon that can go through the police state um, police armor and he's like how much is it for a whole lot and he kind of overplayed it a little bit to where um, he's getting flied down basically then Iris wants to talk to Cicada's or Dwyer's boss. At first she got nowhere, then he got the name Robbie Burns. So then we cut to where Barry and Ralph are in trouble, but Barry covers it very, very, very well. I was very impressed by that. And he, the golf is like, I'll let you have it. But he wants a special 3D printer that can print organs on it. And help basically like save lives and stuff. But he wants to use it for other purposes. And then we cut to where Iris breaks into Cicada's house, which was super stupid. And um, she's like looking around, then he comes home, so she hides. And he was like, like he was on to her, then she managed to uh, hide in a better location. And then we cut to where Nora contacted Wells' exes, and they are pissed because, first of all, they didn't know what Earth he, he was on, and now they do. And they're all the same freaking person, but from different Earths. What? And it, it's just kind of crazy. <laughs> so that whole altercation was funny and stupid at the same time. And they're going to use Breacher to get their payments. That's their main concern. And one girl says, like, one wife, ex-wife said, like, look, you're just destined to be alone, just so you know. And then Barry is starting to do, um, is on board to steal the 3D printer. And he's like, the justify is justified. I'm just like, he's done this line, I don't know how many damn times. And it's so damn annoying. Can you come up with something else, please? That's the, ugh. And then I, we see that Iris got busted, and basically, but she turns it into an interview, but at first he wants to cut it short, then he's like, okay, we'll just finish up here. Then Nora talks to Wells, and then um, we get back to the job happening, and Ralph decided to lock Barry in the, tr in the truck. And they're going over the place trying to find the printer, and they find it, but Ralph decides he wants to do the right thing, so he knocks out the guard, but then he's surrounded by everyone else, and they're going to off him, but Barry manages to escape from the van, and I thought it was very impressive that he had to use his brains to get out of that. 
and Barry saved them, and then they stun everyone, and you have really great action scenes in this, like really, 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 really good ones. And then they got busted by Goldface, so they try to stun him, but he's not affected because he's actually made of gold. And then we got to where Barry tripped him and um, made Goldface electrocute himself, but he's still alive. Which is crazy. And then Iris got busted again because she went to grab her purse, which she didn't have when she walked in. And it's okay, it's very astute. And so they're chasing throughout the house. And so she actually stabs him with something and leaves. And then we have uh, Ralph and Barry will be fine. Their powers are starting to kick in now. Then Willis goes back to talk to the woman. And she tells him to prove that about, his, um, being, about him being a detective. So he does, and then uh, Wells knows what Elsnor is doing after she left because the door opened by itself. And then um, he's going back to the Cicada investigation, and then he's going to be basically. Um, so he's going. Okay, so he's going back to the Cicada case and I'm not backing off the of Norse stuff. So now that. Or Nora overheard that. She's all good now. And that was the end of the episode. Okay, this episode was really good. The only thing that was I had issues with is like, first of all, Iris freaking being a dumb dumb and breaking into someone's house. They kind of did that shtick last season when they were trying to break into DeVoe's house. And that didn't end up too well, and I did it. And then with Barry's whole like, is to justify the ends of the means or something stupid like that. I do, I'm tired of him saying that. Like, get your shit together or something. Like, ugh. But overall, I'll give this an A minus or a strong A. But I'm just like, why the F does this keep happening? Because I don't understand. But anyway, um, other than that, I thought it was a really good episode. I love the action scenes. I liked how they didn't use their powers. But they still managed to take down the, the bad guys. So I really did like that a lot. And overall, it was just a really good episode. So except for the two glaring things in there, it was great. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do for this video. So anyway, this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think, degree, disagree. See y'all thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe because that's helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.